Oh, did you, oh, did you guys see that? <laughs> he came up and took that right there at my feet. <laughs> What's up, guys? I've just come out to a local pond. There seems to be fish feeding all over the place. I've got uh, two setups here. A light setup, a micro light setup, that is. And then a heavier one for bigger fish. Oh. Beware of alligators, snakes, and other wildlife. Good advice. Now guys, my big setup here, it's a little big for this type of fishing. Uh, the reason I brought this today, it's a Daiwa BG2500 on the Daiwa Air D Coastal 7 foot rod. The reason I brought this is because the last couple of outings, um, I've been surprised every time about how many pretty decent alligator gar I've seen just cruising or spotted gar, different species depending on where I go. But uh, I wanted something that could handle bass, but also some bigger fish if I happen to spot one. But most of our work today is going to be done with this guy. This is the Bass Pro Shops Micro Light Elite. It's a really good reel. Uh, not great, but it's good for the price. It's about 50 bucks. And I've got that on the Bass Pro Shops Tourney Special. 5 foot 6 inches long. 1 16th to 1 4th an ounce. Line weight 2 to 8 pounds. Power is light. Action is fast. And uh, this is our lure. I'm just going to go with this underspin here. And by the way, this rod is a two-piece rod, as you can see the, the uh, joint right there. Quite a fan of this setup. Uh, only mediocre reviews. If you do some researching online, you're not going to see anything great said about this outfit. The reel is decent. The rod is great. All right, let's just start right here. It's very warm out here today. Let's go again. Give it a second to sink down a little bit more. Let's try the other side real quick. can see from here too um, out there there seems to be a, a big concrete slab or something under the water jetting out I throw next to that it's very shallow let's go Again, at the uh, the end of it there. There we go. Let's drag it right past the end of that thing. Oh, did you, oh, did you guys see that? <laughs> he came up and took that right there at my feet. <laughs> Oh, he came up and took that right at my feet. The hook set pulled him out of the water. I'm so glad that happened. That was great. Oh, last second bite. That is terrific. Let's get this hook out of his mouth. There we go. This is probably what's popping the water out there. That, that was awesome. Get you back. Oh, well, that was fun. I saw him come up and grab it. I really hope that's on camera. Anyway, let's keep throwing, or let's keep throwing out there. See, I don't know where he came from. I saw him come up at the last second, but he could have come from underneath our feet, from this dock, or he could have followed it. Or he could have just been hiding right over here. I don't know. It's so hard to tell sometimes. They disappear virtually the moment they're back in the water. Just 
hammer. I'm going to hammer that little piece of structure out there. Yep, there's a fish on. Okay. Boom. Woof, 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 woof. Oh, no, no, no. Yes. That's a good one. Oh, yeah, barely, barely hooked. Boom, out. Big airplane going overhead. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Get out of here, buddy. One of these bridges up ahead. Always a good spot to have a go for some fish. Let's see here. I really like fishing my lure past these corners. So you can see right there is the corner that has this big, huge, um, you know, circle that's cut out of the concrete. It's a really great spot to cast. So what you gotta remember is that the, uh, the structure here, the concrete is layered. So here's one drop, then there's gonna be a, a shelf and another drop. And a lot of the times the ends are flared out or have extra concrete kind of dumped around them. Really good structure. And the angle obviously is a blind side uh, for a predator to ambush a fish. So a lot of good things happening right about here. Okay, no go on the corn. Let's try it next to that pillar there. There we go. Give it a minute to sink. Okay, I've got a piece of shrimp setting out on that one. And I went ahead and changed tackle. I went ahead and put on a much smaller uh, rattle trap. Gets in a sound on our side. Also, I I see small fish feeding on small fish, so I don't want a big lure. This lure is still comparatively larger than what I would normally use out here. Normally I'm just using very small underspins, but... Do you want to give this a shot? See there's fish feeding back there. Nothing doing over there. Just absolutely not a bite. You can tell the shadows are getting longer now. I spent a good deal of time over there. So we are gonna head back the way we came. We had we had our only luck today. Right out there. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it going right out there. There we go. I'm gonna drag this past all these little tree roots here. Yep, fish on. Boom, he was hiding in there for sure. Nice. Nice little bass. Tiny, these are all tiny fish, but they are perfect for what we're, for what we're doing. Beautiful little fish. Came right out of one of these, uh, one of these. Cypress trees came right out of the root systems. There he goes. 
All right, we're going back on this dock again. I'm gonna try a few more shots right where we started and just see if we can't pick up some fish. All right, we're not gonna try to fix it's not broken, so let's go. <laughs> Little turtle right there. Let's go with this uh, tiny jig and let's let's throw it back out towards that uh, that pipeline. See if we can't get a fish before we head home. There we go. Oh, 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 thought that was a fish. No bite, no bite. Let's put it right in front of the mouth of that pipe. Drop it down. Okay, there's a fish over there. Now he's on. Yes, got you that time. Just trying to go into this dock. Nice lift. Oh. And I think, hey, that might be fish of the day. I don't know. Again, what can I say? Nothing more satisfying than saying, hey, you know what? There's a fish right there. Let's get him. He, uh, he hit the lure. There we go. Just from my finger. There we go. That's a nice fish. Look inside his mouth. What a predator. What a weapon. Get him back. All right, guys, I reckon that'll just about do it for us today. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. When you do subscribe, hit that little bell down at the bottom so when I upload a video, you get the notifications straight away. If you want to help support the channel at any time, check out the link in the description to our Patreon page, and there's a list of some of the great stuff you would get in return for deciding to become a patron. It helps to make videos like this possible. More is coming, guys. Stay tuned, and until it's here, I will see you guys later.